All I'm gonna say is they're an incredible shoe. Just driven down to Norwich, Norfolk. I'm at the Norfolk Showground today, racing a 10K um, with the Norfolk Gazelles. They kindly asked me if I would like to race this um, race, and yeah, gave me free entry. So thank you very much to Norfolk Gazelles for um, allowing me to take part today. I'm really looking forward to to um, racing the 10K in the Nike uh, Streak Fly. Um, these are a brand new road racing shoe that have just that just came out about a week ago. Um, I've been on a holiday, so I haven't actually run in them yet at all. They're nice and white and shiny still, but I know for a fact that after this run, they certainly are not going to look like this. Um, it is absolutely chucking it down on the way up today, um, and it's all on road, so expect it to be quite a wet one um, today. So yeah, this is how they look now, a nice white colorway. Um, and hopefully they don't get too messed up because um, I do like to keep my shoes in in fairly good condition. Um, I always take care of to make sure I clean them, wash them after every run. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to do that today. But yeah, the course today is just a 10 kilometer road loop. I believe it's just a one lapper um, on a sort of undulating route. I spoke to a few friends who've done this race in the past um, and there's a bit of a hill towards the end and a few sort of um, lumps and bumps along the way. So it's not a super fast course, um, but you can still run a fairly quick time on it, I've heard. So yeah, it'd be good to, to test out the shoes over the 10 kilometer distance. Um, I'm just about to head down now to the race HQ. Brave the rain. Um, I brought some a change of clothes, thankfully today, um, and yeah, pick up my race number because um, the race starts in about an hour and twenty minutes. Right here we go. Let's brave the conditions. Oh, turn the lights off. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not actually raining too much at the moment. On the way down, it was real torrential rain, so. Um, where is the start line? Looks like people are walking in that direction. Let's head down and get my race number. Lock the car. So here we are at the start line of another race. Today we were racing a 10k down in Norfolk. I believe there's 750 people doing it today, so it'll be a nice mass um, race. I think they're still doing some sort of wave start, so the faster runners are going off first. Um, my little sister and her boyfriend Dan have actually come down to film today, so they're going to get some few shots. Um, and also the, the volunteers and marshals apparently uh, are going to be out with their camera phones as well, so that'd be great if they can get some footage as well. Um, warm up stun, just going to do a few strides and drills and then yeah, get started in about, let me have a look, it's now 9.50 so 10 minutes till we start. Feeling good?
So there we go, just finished the 10k, official time 32.01 so I just missed out on that, sub 32 by a second but yeah really really good race, just going to get some more clothes on, um, get ready for a presentation, yeah another another win which I'm really chuffed about, it's a really tough race today, um, three of us at the front, I'll do a proper race report um, tomorrow um, but yeah, there's the medal from the Valentine's 10k. A really really good race really well put on all the road closures were brilliant really well marshalled um, thank you to everyone who sent some footage for the vlog that really helps but yeah uh, gonna get some clothes on now Whew. so there we go I'm home now that was a really really competitive race today um, there was three of us until maybe the last kilometer and we were all still together so it made for a really really competitive race probably um, one of the the most competitive I've done in a long time um, as with these sort of 5 or 10 k sometimes you end up running a lot of it on your own um, so it was nice to run in a pack it really helped um, help the three of us I think push on especially in the really windy conditions um, the first 5k I think was about a minute slower than the second 5k um, just that just goes to show how how the wind affected us on the course today um, it was the first run in the Nike Streak Flies which uh, all I'm going to say is they're an incredible shoe um, there's a lot of people saying are these going to be um, faster or as fast as a the carbon racing shoes from, from Nike and other um, carbon uh, racing shoes out there and my first impressions would be yes these are these are the real deal very very fast definitely not slower than say the Vaporfly or the Alphafly um, expect a full first impressions video um, coming very soon Here's my medal from the, the Valentine's 10K. Um, yeah, massive thank you to the Norfolk Gazelles. This is their little logo um, for having me. Um, I would love to come and do some more races down that way in the future. Um, in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna do a full race report and also go over a little bit more um, on my first impressions on the street flies because um, I'm sure you a lot of people want to hear a little bit more about how the shoes felt over that sort of 10k distance. So before I end this video I just want to say a big thank you to Bix Hydration. Um, this is a sort of electrolytes company that was set up by Vlad Ixel who is an Australian YouTuber. Ultra Runner I believe is where his um, roots come from, from and I watch a lot of his videos, make some great content on YouTube. Um, yeah, so these, this is his company, Bix Hydration. I've been trying out these electrolytes. Um, that's what I had in my drink today. Um, and also these sort of recovery um, hydration tablets again. Um, both of them just dissolve straight into, the wa into water. Um, so I've been having this one sort of throughout the day. And then as soon as I finish my run, I've been having the um, recovery ones. Um, yeah, and I've, I've really noticed an improvement in my um, training in terms of how quickly I'm recovering. My legs are feeling a lot fresher, a lot less stiff and crampy um, from the high mileage that I've been doing recently. So yeah, just want to say thank you to Vlad. If you're looking for some hydration tablets, then yeah, have a look at Bix Hydration um, because I've been getting on really well with them. Flavours are great. Um, yeah, really easy to use. Uh, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, a really, really good race day vlog today. Um, thank you very much to everyone again who sent the footage. It really made it for made the vlog, um, and I probably couldn't have portrayed the story half as well as as what I did today. Thanks to those clips. Um, but yeah, until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you tomorrow with a street fly first impressions and race recap video. Bye bye.